how to create an e-commerce store using WordPress. In this video session, we're going to look at testing the payment process for our WooCommerce store. It is absolutely important that we thoroughly test the payment process for our WooCommerce store. Because if people have errors or issues making a payment, that means we don't have an e-commerce store, right? So with our WooCommerce settings under payments for PayPal, if we're using PayPal, we select Sandbox, which is a testing environment. For Stripe, we do the same thing. We make sure we enable test mode because we can't go live till we test things. Within your Sandbox developer account, as I've shown to you in the previous video session, we've created a merchant account. In this example, you definitely need to create a personal buyer account so that you can log into PayPal using your buyer account for testing purposes. So let's go and see what happens. Remember, it will be the case that depending on the theme that you're using, sometimes you'll have links to add to cart from the product um, shop URL here, right? So at the end of the day, whatever link you see, test it, press on it, to see what happened. Here I add to cart, did it add to cart. Here can I press on PayPal and make the payment? Can I press on view link, as in view cart? Does that link work? Can I press on checkout link to go to checkout process? Okay, all these must be tested thoroughly through many, many different angles. Okay, just think like your website visitors. Okay, they don't know how to use your website. That means how easy it is for them to complete the payment. Do the links stand out? Can they clearly see what's going on on the cart pages? Can they add coupon codes? Does that work if you've created coupons? Can they remove the product? Can they update the cart from this URL? Make sense? So you get the idea. What I'm trying to share with you is the fact that payment process must be thoroughly tested. So here, I'm just going to press on pay now on the cart page to see what happens if my valued um, customer presses on that. Can they make a purchase on the cart page? Using our buyer account from PayPal, let's go log in and make the purchase to see does that complete correctly. As we can see, it says, okay, you're logged in. How do you want to pay? Let's go through PayPal balance because this is still testing. Let's press on continue to see what happens. Does the transaction go through? In my example, did the customer return back to my URL? And finally, what happens at this moment? Thinking like a customer, they will think that the complete order payment has gone through but it hasn't they need to then place orders and they need to press this or even cancel it here so that means you need to test cancel as well here it says paypal checkout place order at this moment you have to ask yourself you know what can you show some information as to finally press on place order maybe they didn't see this link here maybe they, they thought okay I made a purchase, but it didn't go through. Things like this happen, and you want to avoid that. Make sense? So then you can perhaps blurt a message here. Finally, place order, as in click on that link and so on, right? So now let's place order. At this moment, the payment should go through. And for my example, the customer can download the plugin. But because WooCommerce can be set up using various different online stores, you may be sending out physical products. That means their details, shipping details and so on, will probably be here. Not probably, it will be here. Because right now the payment has gone through. The process for ordering items from your shop from your e-commerce site 
can now be completed using PayPal. But since this tutorial, we want to keep it short, I would never leave testing the payment process to this simplicity. Make sense? You need to test everything. That's how important it is, right? So now let's go to shop and let's conduct another test using a credit card. Let's go and order the same item, but this time pay. Let's add to cart. Let's add it to cart. So now I can go press on checkout. And here I would test the address details because these are options, optional because I'm offering digital products. That means I don't need my valued customer's strict address, for example. But for yours, it may not be optional. And WooCommerce settings as to the product that you're offering will determine if these are optional or you require the details for shipping, okay? So just because we're seeing optional, yours will definitely be different if you're sending out physical products. Now, what I can share with you is this. WooCommerce has a filter, WooCommerce billing fields. That means all the billing fields that we're seeing here, we can filter into them. Just imagine this scenario. Let's imagine for my example, the phone number details is not needed. That means I can unset it. Okay, so let me put this functions.php file using this filter. Now I see what happens to this phone number field. Let's refresh because I've just unset it. That, that means it shouldn't be there as we can see, okay? Now, this filter will definitely come in hand handy. I'll zoom in so you see. Okay, it's straightforward. Let's imagine I do not need someone's postcode. As an example, it could happen. Then I just unset it. And then upload that functions.php file. Where is this file located? It is within your themes folder. The theme that you're using has a functions.php and you can filter into the fields. And in this example, the postcode field will be gone. Now, why is this important? It's important to ask this question. For you to increase your conversions, you need to make the order process as smooth and error-free. As smooth as possible and error-free and as easy as possible. That means for you to complete your order, do you really need someone's phone number? If not, why even have that field there? Make sense? That's why this filter will definitely come in handy. Okay? Always ask yourself, what do I need at minimum to complete that order? And then only have those fields. Because think of your ideal customer. Are they going to spend, you know what, five minutes filling out all the details when perhaps half of them is not needed? Make sense? If you're sending physical products, surely they're address details is important. But then you ask yourself, okay, do I need their phone number and so on, okay? Definitely consider what I've just shared with you because it's gonna affect your conversions as a result, your profitability. In this example, I can and should test PayPal checkout, but let's press on credit card. Stripe provides testing card details by saying use this with any CSV, which is to be placed here, and valid expiration date, let's go 2020, and let's place the order using Stripe credit card. That means your ideal customers are using their credit card. Okay? And now they've returned back, as in the transaction has been completed. And if you're using Stripe, your Stripe account will show you the details. At this moment, everything is still tested. That means there is no real live transactions happening. Make sense? So that means their credit card is not going to be minus the fee. Right? So, 
At the end of the day, let me share one more insight with you that will definitely help increase your conversions. Okay, let's add another product to cart. That means if you've got 100 products, you need to test the transaction process. Okay, let's go to checkout, but this time, perhaps this is what I would do. Instead of providing valid credit card, let me try and place an order here. As in, let me copy this. As in, run false information to see what happens when you do that. Wh where is the error notices coming? Make sense? So it's not just conducting everything perfectly, but just test to say, hmm, what if your customer entered the wrong details for CSV? Okay. Makes sense. Like what if they left that empty and trying to place the order? What shows up here and where it shows up? Can they see that? Because it could be the case you're using different colors and then the error notices are all blended. It can't be seen. Makes sense. All these must be tested. Same is true with PayPal. When they press the link and enter wrong details, what happens? Okay. Furthermore, let's imagine this scenario. Let's imagine your ideal customers came here and absolutely it looks right. But there is some information missing, I believe. And that is the security. Can we put an image here or some information informing our valued customers that their transaction is skewed? Make sense? Because I believe right now that seems to be missing. Because at the end of the day, your e-commerce store, although yours and it's your business, what's important for your customers is the security of this transaction. Because there is a lot of funny characters on the internet trying to scam people. So if your customers never bought something from you, they may think, you know what, are you one of those websites? So how do you then overcome that? What information can you put on your checkout process that informs the, the customer saying, you know what, when you enter your details here, it's skewed using HTTPS, SSL certificates, and so on. Because you've seen the lock sign on other websites when you're trying to buy something from them. And it kind of assures you on another level, saying, hmm, okay, you know what, at least they're using SSL which is another layer of security. So at the end of the day, ask yourself their information because it's gonna make a difference for your conversions. Inform your customers of your return policy because that is important. Inform your customers as to the security um, processes that you have in place as a business to assure them that their transaction is secure. That's why you use HTTPS as I've said in the initial intro video. Because all these, as you can see, is important. Because if I do not use HTTPS, not only I can't use Stripe as an example, but that's not a secure interaction for the website visitor because anyone on the internet can eavesdrop to that. That's why you use SSL because it's much harder for people to, to listen into that interaction, so to speak, okay? So at the end of the day, one way or another, you need to run many, many thorough testing for the payment process before you go live. Because what is worse is if things go wrong here, then that's definitely bad, bad. And ask yourself, you know what? What is the information I need at minimum? Can I remove the optional fields if you don't need them? And I've just shown to you the WooCommerce filter the WordPress filter that can change what you need here. Okay, Always ask yourself, how can I minimize the process? And ask yourself, can you place an image on this URL, check out URL, inform, informing your customers of the security processes you have in place? Because all that will increase your conversions. And that comes from experience.